Hi, today we are going to talk about inductive and resonance effects. Understanding these effects can help predict the acidity and reactivity of different species and the mechanism of the chemical reactions. Due to the difference in electronegativity between two atoms linked up by sigma bonds, the bonding electrons will displace towards the more electronegative atom. The atom exhibits a partial negative charge. The electronic effect of a group that is transmitted by the polarization of electrons in a sigma bond is called inductive effect. Inductive effect affects the ability of a chemical group to stabilize or destabilize a molecule or ion through electron distribution. Electrons are drawn towards or away from the group, affecting the polarity of the molecule or ion. If the capacity of a group to withdraw electrons is more than that of hydrogen, it's called electron withdrawing group. Likewise, if the capacity of a group to withdraw electron is less than that of hydrogen, it is called electron donating group. Inductive effect is represented by an arrowhead in the middle of the covalent bond pointing in the direction of the displacement of electrons. In this example, chlorine is more electronegative than carbon, so it will pull electrons towards itself, thus decreases the electron density in the molecule. Chlorine is therefore said to have negative inductive effect. Electron withdrawing groups decreases electron density and have negative inductive effect. On the other hand, the oxygen anion in this ethoxy ion already bears a negative charge. So although oxygen atoms are more electronegative than carbon, but oxygen anion has low electronegativity and repels electrons and hence electron donating. This oxygen anion pushes electron away from itself, thus increases the electron density of the molecule. An oxygen anion is said to have a positive inductive effect. This positive inductive effect is also felt by the subsequent carbon atom in the chain, but at a much lesser degree. So electron donating group increases electron density and has positive inductive effect. The strongest electron withdrawing groups include groups with pi bonds and electronegative atoms. Halogens are electron withdrawing due to their high electronegativity. But going down group 7, the electron withdrawing ability decreases as electronegativity decreases. Examples of good electron donating groups are groups with lone pairs to donate, the strongest being those with negative charge. Alkyl groups are also electron donating, and the more carbon atoms in the alkyl group, the stronger its electron donating capacity. When positive inductive groups like alkyl are present next to positively charged carbons, they will push electron towards the positive carbon and the carbocation stability will increase. The positive inductive effect help diminish the positive charge on the carbon by giving a negative charge density. Because of this, carbocation becomes more stable. Conversely, the positive inductive groups lower carbon ion stability. The alkyl groups, which have positive inductive effect, will transfer electron density to the negatively charged carbon and increases the negative charge concentration, thus decreases carb anion stability. Unlike carbocations, carb anions are stabilized by negative inductive groups. Now we are going to explain the differences in acidity in terms of inductive effects. As indicated by the pKa, the presence of chlorine atoms clearly increases the acidity of carboxylic acid group. 
Ignoring the positive inductive effect of oxygen anion and the resonance effect, let's compare the conjugate bases of the weakest and the strongest acids. Due to the absence of electronegative halogen atoms on the alkyl groups, there is no observed negative inductive effect in ethanoic acid. The negative charge is concentrated on the oxygen anion, making the structure less stable. As the oxygen is highly negatively charged, it will easily gain back the hydrogen ion, making it a weaker acid. A chlorine atom is more electronegative than hydrogen. Thus, it is able to induce or pull electron density towards itself via sigma bonds and help to spread the electron density of the conjugate base and stabilize it. The more stable the product, the more favorable the reaction, and the more equilibrium lies to the right. Since the negative charge is more dispersed, oxygen anion has less tendency to gain back the hydrogen ion, making it a stronger acid. As inductive effect is location dependent, the location of the electron withdrawing group also affect the acidity of a molecule. Inductive effect takes place through covalent bonds. Its influence decreases significantly with distance. Thus, a chlorine with two carbons away from carboxylic acid group has a weaker effect compared to a chlorine that's just one carbon away. Some of the arrows have been drawn in to illustrate that the inductive effect is felt less significantly further away from the chlorine. Now let's compare the basicity of tertiary, secondary, and primary amines. Amines are basic in nature due to the presence of a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. This lone pair of electron is donated to the proton of an acid to form a new bond. Because of positive inductive effect of an alkyl group, the alkyl group tends to donate electron towards the nitrogen atom and thus make the lone pair of electron more readily available to donate to the proton of the acid. The more alkyl groups, the more stable the alkyl ammonium ion product formed. This is because the positive charge on nitrogen is partially cancelled by the positive inductive effect of alkyl groups. Hence, alkyl amines are stronger bases than ammonia. In conclusion, the basic nature of aliphatic amines increases with an increase in the number of alkyl groups. Resonance effect is an electronic effect involving pi bond electrons or electrons present in unhybridized p orbitals. As an example of resonance structure, Let's take a look at methanoid ion, which is the conjugate base of methanoic acid. Usually, you see it drawn like this, with a negative formal charge located on the single bonded oxygen. In reality, methanoid ion has two resonance structures and they are alternating. So the two carbon-oxygen bonds are of the same length. And although there is indeed an overall negative formal charge on the group, it is shared equally between the two oxygens. In other words, the negative charge of the anion is dispersed, so the structure of the ion is stabilized by resonance. The more stabilized the conjugate base, the stronger the acid, and the equilibrium lies further to the right. Now let's compare the acidity of methanoic acid and methanol. This is methanol and the products formed when it dissociates. To explain the differences in their acidity, let's compare the conjugate bases, methanoid and methoxy. As we saw earlier, the negative charge on methanoid is dispersed due to resonance, making it a more stable ion. Because the oxygen is less negatively charged, it less readily reacts with a proton. However, Methoxy ion does not have resonance structure, 
so the oxygen bears a full negative charge. This makes it less stable. It is more prone to donate an electron pair to a proton to reproduce methanol. Thus, the equilibrium lies heavily to the left. Therefore, methanol is a much weaker acid than methanoic acid. We can also explain the stability of benzene in terms of resonance effect. Benzene has equivalent resonating structures, but the perfectly symmetrical structure of benzene indicates that it exists as a resonance hybrid. The CC double bond moves around and there is a dispersal of electron density, which results in its lack of reactivity to its electrophilic addition reaction. That's it for today. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.